Alright, so in this video, we'll take a look at how to create a backup of the EEPROM file on this radio transmitter with the OpenTX firmware so that it's easier to restore all the models and settings in case if you ever accidentally delete them or if you factory reset the radio. So let's see how to do that. So first make sure that you have the latest version of OpenTX firmware. So currently you can see that I only have one model in the model list. And to read the EEPROM file, we have to initiate the USB storage mode. And to do that, you will have to hold the bind button to enter the radio setup. And then scroll all the way down. And here we have two options. So the USB mode is set to ask. I prefer to set this to ask. But if you want, you can set this to joystick or storage. And then we have USB detect. So I prefer to set this to auto. So if I click OK, we have two options. We can either select USB joystick. That's if you want to use the radio with a simulator on the computer. And the other is USB storage. So I'll select USB storage and click on OK. And then as soon as the radio is in the USB storage mode, you will see that it won't respond to any commands. And that's because it's in the USB storage mode. And now I'll connect the USB cable that I got with this radio transmitter. So when you buy this radio transmitter, you will get this PS2 type connector, which you connect to the DSC port. And as soon as the USB cable is detected, the radio will enter the home screen and it's still in the USB mode. So it won't respond to any clicks or commands. And now I'll connect the USB cable to the computer. And as soon as I connected the USB cable, a new drive has opened up as i6x. So this is our radio drive. And here you can see that we have the EEPROM file and even the firmware file. So here I have a list of all the EEPROM files that I can use. So for example, let me copy this EEPROM file and to paste this, you will have to delete the existing EEPROM file. So delete that and then paste the backup file. And as soon as we paste it, the radio will boot up and the storage drive on your computer will be disconnected. And because the file is only 16 kilobytes, it will transfer very quickly. And that's why you might get this interrupted action error, but just ignore this. So the EEPROM file that I just copied on the radio transmitter has three models in it. And if you look closely, you can see that there's a exclamation mark over here, which indicates that the radio needs to be restarted. So turn off the radio transmitter and then turn it on again. And this is how you can create a backup of your models and settings and then restore it on the radio transmitter. Now, sometimes when you restore a backup file, you might get a low EEPROM data error. And in that case, you might have to reconnect the device to the computer and restart the radio transmitter. So at the moment, I only have three models, but let me fill this up all the way to 16 models. So once again, I'll select USB storage. I'll delete the existing EEPROM file. And I'll copy this file, which has 16 models in it. And if you want, you can rename the file. And then I'll paste it in the radio directory. And now you can see that I have 16 models in 
the model list so I'll disconnect the USB cable and I'll restart the radio transmitter so you can see that it says 178 maybe bytes is free but that's not right so for example if I select this model all right so the radio transmitter has hung up yeah so this is what I was talking about EEPROM low memory so if you get that error so to fix that safely disconnect the USB storage mode so for example I'll connect the USB cable again I'll select USB storage, delete the existing EEPROM file and once again I'll paste the EEPROM file which has all the models in it. And I'll soft shut down the radio transmitter by holding the cancel button. and then slide the power switch to the off position disconnect the USB cable and then power on so that way you won't get the low EEPROM data error and and even the free storage is reflected correctly so this is how you can create a backup of the EEPROM file and restore it in order to restore your models and settings in the next video we'll take a look at how to use the joystick functionality so that you can use this radio transmitter with a simulator software on your computer if you found this video helpful you can like it and subscribe to my channel and if you still haven't flashed OpenTX firmware on this radio transmitter check out the link in the description and there you'll get all the details and the latest firmware file for this radio transmitter and thanks a lot for watching.